Hi everyone, I've got a very simple bidding chart here which you can use to help you to decide how high to bid and bridge. Now it's only a guideline, but sometimes it's good to get your whole bidding logic on one simple chart and that's what we've got here. Let's talk it through. When you and your partner are the only ones bidding in the auction, then your job is relatively simple. You'll just need to decide whether to play in a part score or a game or a slam. With 25 or more points between you and your partner's hands, you'll want to play in a game. Three no trumps, four hearts, four spades, five clubs or five diamonds. Now it seems like there's a big choice here, but really you can simplify things. If you have a major fit, that's hearts or spades, and a fit is eight trumps between the two hands. So if you have eight hearts or eight spades between you and your partner's hand and 25 points, then you probably want to be playing in four hearts or four spades. If you don't have a major fit, then you probably want to be playing in three no trumps. I know three no trumps can be a bit scary sometimes, but that's nine tricks. Five clubs, five diamonds, that's 11 tricks. And be brave and three no trumps is going to be your second choice if you don't have a major fit. Sometimes you'll bid five clubs and five diamonds for sure, but most of the time you'll be bidding four hearts, four spades or three no trumps. 30 points isn't normally going to be enough to bid a slam, but if you do have a really good trump fit, then 30 can, will often be enough. I've put 30 here just as a starting point for you to think about when you're bidding. If you have 33 points between the two hands, then you'll almost certainly want to be bidding a slam. And, and with 33 points, six no trumps is going to be a very common slam contract. On many hands, the points are going to be fairly evenly split between your side and the opposition side. You'll now have to decide whether to play the hand yourself or whether it's better off to defend. In this case, points aren't really going to help you very much. The reason is that making your contract is now not the only consideration. Sometimes it might be more profitable to defend even if you can make a contract your way. And sometimes it, you can be better off going down in your contract as a sacrifice rather than letting the opposition play on their contract. So when both sides are in the bidding, rather than use points as your guideline, you kind of know that the points are reasonably evenly spread anyway. So in this case, you can use your trump fit, how good your trump fit is, to decide how high to bid. Now, remember, this is just a guideline, but it's a pretty good guideline. If you have an eight card trump fit between your hand and partners, then you probably want to be competing to the two level, regardless of how many points you've got between the two hands. With a nine card trump fit, worthwhile bidding to the three level. With a 10 card trump fit, even if the points are reasonably evenly split, you probably want to be bidding to the four level if you need to. Now you might not make your contract, but it's still likely to be a good sacrifice. So there are really two bidding strategies that you're going to use depending on who has the points. In a constructive auction, just you and your partner bidding, you'll use points to help you decide whether to play in a part score game or slam. In a competitive auction with both sides bidding and the points reasonably evenly split, then you'll use your trump length to decide how high to bid. Let's try an example. This is hand one, nobody is vulnerable. North is the dealer, north passes, so that doesn't look good for our side. East bids one club, and we've got 11 high card points, six card hearts, so certainly worth overcalling one heart here. West bids one spade, and north bids two hearts. So first question, what sort of auction is this? Is this, the, is this the type of auction where you and your partner are deciding whether or not to bid game, part score, slam? Or is this 
it's the type of auction where you're trying to decide whether or not to outbid the opposition. Well, this is clearly a competitive auction. Both sides are bidding. East has shown 12 points. West has shown 6 points. North has already passed. So the points are evenly split at best for us. So our job here is to decide whether to try and play the hand or whether to defend. In this case, we're going to use our trumps to determine how high to bid. My one heart overcall there showed a five card suit. And North's gone to the two level showing a trump fit. So North will have three hearts because North knows that I've got five and that gives us eight between the two hands. So if North's got three hearts, and I've actually got six hearts, that gives us a nine card heart fit. So when East bids two spades, with a nine card fit, I'm going to check my chart. So I go to the th hmm. Nine trumps between the two hands, so I go to the three level. Okay. Well, I might not make it, but let's do this anyway. See what happens. Three hearts, pass, pass, pass. Lead is the three of clubs, and North certainly didn't have a very strong hand for that two heart bid, but North did have three card heart support, and that's really all I want to know about. Are we going to make it? Well, let's see. I'm going to follow suit with a club, follow suit again. Spade, so we have to lose that one. Another spade, we've lost that one. We've lost four tricks already. Ace of diamonds, we still have to lose this ace of diamonds. That's five tricks. Now I'm just going to, I want to be in the north hand here so I can finesse the hearts. So I'm going to throw my king under the ace of diamonds so that now I can win the diamond lead on the table and I can finesse the heart. Good, that worked. Cash the ace of hearts. Great, that's all the hearts gone. I can rough the club. And I've got four trumps left. So, three hearts, down one, and we lose 50 points. How do you feel, good or bad? Well, you should be feeling pretty good right now because had we passed and let East and West play on their two spade contract, they certainly would have made two spades. Probably three spades or even four spades. Now, two spades making two is 110. Two spades making three is 140. Two spades making four is 170. So any of those contracts are worse for us than what we actually did, three hearts down one, losing 50 points. So this is a very important point. When we bid to game, slam, we're trying to make our contract. In a competitive auction when both sides are bidding, we're not necessarily aiming to make our contract. We can still get a good score like we did on this hand. Making those competitive bidding decisions is much easier when you use your trump fit to determine how high to bid. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.